Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and I want to show you how I make an Adoramapix photo book. Now, there were a lot of questions that came out of the reveal video that I did that if you haven't seen that reveal video, go ahead and click up on the screen. You're gonna see me deliver this book to a client and get their real reaction for the first time that they see the images. But from that video, people are like, how do you make a photo book? And that's exactly what I wanna do here is show you how I do that with Adoramapix software that they have on their website. But if you are just looking to get a discount on making a photo book at Adorama Picks. They gave me a code because I asked them for it, and the code is PXFRO35MD. Now you have until the date on the screen to go ahead and have your book made, but 35% off is a lot of money off to get one of these books made. So why don't I show you how I make the book right now. So you go to adoramapix.com. If you don't have an account, you can go ahead and sign up for a free account uh, and, and it may ask for a referral. You can just say jared at jaredpoland.com uh, so that they know that you came from me. But photo books are so important. They make such an impression on people and that's why I use them and that's why I use the Adoramapix books because they're one of the best that I've personally found. So you're going to go click on photo books. You're going to create a photo book and boom, we're just gonna say test. Why don't we say test pizza? Because I like test pizza. Uh, select the cover. You have different cover options from custom hardcover, which is what I did right here. This is a custom luster pearl finish hardcover. I like using it. Um, leather, you've got the genuine leather, so you have two different options. That's for if you're making a wedding album or whatnot. I generally stick to the custom hardcover myself. Different shapes, you can do portrait square, landscapes, horizontals. I stay with portraits because I like to shoot uh, full frame images, but I do it 12 by 19. The reason I do it 12 by 19 is that when I do a two page spread, something like this, that 12 by 19 is full frame without cropping. I like full frame edge to edge photos just like this. So we have that right there. So that's why I do that. And your different finish options between luster, linen, Fuji deep matte, pebble texture, Fuji glossy, uh, Fuji HD glossy. It depends on what you're looking for. I personally like the luster finish. Luster, it should tell us right here, luster, first time photo books with no bias for page style, except that it should be so beautiful, low cost and high recommended as great overall page. I, I like luster. So we've got luster, prepare layout. You could use one of their designs or you could build your own I build my own, so let's go ahead and make this book. Don't forget the code is PXFRO35MD. You can use that at any time to check out for a photo book. That's a great discount, so go ahead and do that. So the next thing it asks you for is to upload your images. I already have a folder in here with my images, so when I'm exporting them from Lightroom, I export them as full res images. The reason I export them as full res images is I want to have the largest image possible to work with, the most data, so that when I do put it into the book, it's going to look great. Don't export them too small. Uh, some people like to crop. Remember, you need a, a larger file size if you're going to crop and things like that. So I've got all the images. I'm going to add all of them, and then I hit OK. So right now I've got a 10 page book set up and up here in the top corner, you can see it says $31 and 60 some cents is the cost of the book right now. Um, their software is good. It's not the greatest in the world, but it works perfectly fine. I'm gonna skip the cover for now and just get into the first page. Um, if you've seen the layout that I've done, or I guess I'll have a turn paging at the end of this video or separate, um, you're gonna see that I, I put some of the images to the left or the right side and left one side blank. It's whatever works best for you for layout. But what I look for the most, let's see, we've got, here we've got different backdrops you can use. I don't use any of this stuff, solid colors, color gradient, like would you ever just drag this to the background? Look, look how bad, I mean, I don't want this on my page, but if that's what you're looking for, you have all of these different cheesy options you can work with. Personally, up to you, I like to keep it simple. I think when it comes to book design, the simpler it is, the cleaner it looks, the easier people are going to accept it and like it. If you start to make it all cheesy, like Joe said, no pun intended for pizza, if you make it so that it's like, you've got all these borders and it looks like uh, just an auto layout, fill, uh, you auto filled the layout, people aren't going to, 
think that it looks professional. You don't have to overdo it. They give you so many different options and I'm not using them. Look at these frames. Frames are pretty ugly, right? You're gonna pop a frame, well, I guess you can't put a frame in until you put a picture in, but I'm not a big fan of doing, oh, cutouts, no. So what do I do? I go down to layouts. I would like to do a layout that involves one photo, but check this out. You could do four photos and then you just scroll down here and see the different options. Stay on page. Every time I scroll, it sometimes wants to go to a different page. So I kind of have to, you know, look at this. You find what you want. I'm going to do one page, one photo, but this one right here that I found is full frame. I drag it into the, I drag it in and it just drops wherever it wants. I hit command Z and it goes back to where I want it. But look, so that's the image. I don't need to hit upload. I can go back to my assets and grab any image I want. So for example, we can grab this image of Joe and boom. This is exactly what I did for the book. And I didn't want to put anything on the right hand side because I just, I didn't think the juxtaposition of images on the left and the right worked at the beginning. But here we have Joe looking here. If I wanted to mirror it and put it on the other side, we would just hit this mirror button up here and it would put it over there so you can see how it's done. If you want to make it larger, you can just drag it like this, but it also takes it out of center. I'm going to hit undo there, which don't forget you have an undo right here on the screen. But if you want to leave it in the middle and you want to make it larger, I held down, I think it's the shift key. And look, it's staying in the middle and doing it proportionately so that you could drag it. Now this is your own custom design at this point. Oops, I messed up. I let go of the shift too soon. So if I wanted it to be like this and I wanted to replicate the same image on the side, not the same image, but the same design, I can literally hit copy. I can come over here, I can hit paste, and look, it's not in the middle, but they have these snap guides. Boom, let's see, right there. And that's gonna be even. I personally wanna stick with the original layout that they had, meaning I think that they have this set perfectly to set the right amount of space in an image. So what I'm doing here, I'm going back, grabbing my image, and boom. It's right where I want it. I don't have to put another image over here because I, I just don't have to. So then I can go to the next page and say I want to do a horizontal full, full page. Now I'm not going to lay out the entire book that I did because it took me a good three hours to make that happen, but I want a full page spread. So look, not a full page spread. What would happen if I hit fit, fit to page? Well, it would just select one side of the page and fit it to the page. I don't want that. I want to fit it to the spread. And this is full frame without cropping because it's 12 by 19. Now, depending on what, what layout you choose, you have to decide whether you're gonna crop or how you're gonna make the images work. So that's another thing that you can do. That's just simple. But let me do something that I, I, I didn't do in my book. You know, I wanna do, say, we'll do two photos per page. Look, you've got the, you have these different options. This is cheesy. Like, this is really cheesy. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't sit here and be like, oh, I like this image here and then you can move it inside, and then um, I want this image here on a cockeyed angle. Like that is just so cheesy, it's not even funny. But if it works for you, it works for you. I'm just showing you that there are options here. So I like to keep it simple, like I said. Back to this, one photo right here. Let's pick another image. Ah, I scrolled again, it doesn't like when I scroll. So let's go like this. Oh, and be sure to hit the save button quite often. I like to save my progress because if for some reason I hit the back button and it takes me away and I lose my progress, that's not gonna be good. So let's take this image. There's Joe. If you want to mirror the image, you can click these buttons. Look, it's really simple. It's really easy to figure out what you can and can't do. And look, it just, it just drags and, and, and moves. So. I like this, it's simple. Say I wanna do another one on the other page, same size. I'm gonna hit copy, I'm gonna hit paste, it draws another, it put, drops another one in here, and then I just use the snap guides and go like, where is it, where is it, where is it, like this. And there you have it. So, there's still more pages, you can always add more pages. Look, you just hit plus page, and it's gonna say, oh, let's add two more pages. And then you can see that the cost goes up slightly. But people wanna know, how do you do the cover? So I'm gonna go back to the cover. I didn't like the I didn't like how covers worked when you tried to do them inside the program. So I left the website and I went to Photoshop and I set up a 12 by 19 image in Photoshop, a, a canvas 12 by 19. And I dropped the cover photo on this design and I wrote 
Expedia right here. I used Times, uh, no, I used Helvetica to do this because they didn't have Helvetica in there. I also used it to put my logo on the page and then I uploaded the image here to Adorama. Let me find it and this is the cover. So look, I drag it over here. I want it to fill the screen. Again, fit, fit to spread and here it is. Here's your gutter. If you wanted to write something in the gutter, you could add the text now, or you could just add it before, which is what I like to do. You can see you've got your safety zones. Look, it worked perfectly when I did it like this, and that was awesome. So here's another thing that I need to tell you about. You know, look how we do the book. When we turn the page and we have this on the inside cover, this is an extra page that you would pay extra for. I didn't like, they didn't do this before, and before you would have a photo printed over here and it just didn't look good. So having those extra pages there at the beginning or at the end is really important. So how do you do that? Let's see, go to settings. I wanna have end pages. This says, move out of my way, move out of my way. It says additional non-editable pages will be added to the front and back of the book. So boom, right here it says end pages, right here it says end pages. Always do that. Now they're charging you nothing, but the reason they're charging you nothing is because when we go to this end page, it has Adoramapix logo. I don't want their logo on my book. I'm not selling them, I'm selling me. So I go ahead and I click off that logo and it's now charging you $2 extra, which is perfectly fine because we're not putting their advertisement in there. You can put your own logo here. Look, you click on it, you can put your logo. Now it's gonna be really small. I rather put it on the back of the book myself. So I just end up leaving this blank, but it does cost me more money, but that's perfectly fine because I don't wanna be promoting Adorama Picks in this book. You don't want people knowing where you got the books so that they can look up and be like, oh my God, that only would have cost me 30 some dollars and you charge me 500 and then you have to explain and you're like, well, my expertise is worth a lot of money and the layout time and blah, 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 blah. Use end pages. You're able to color them at the very end. So we've done a layout here, very simple layout. I could just drag more images, going back to the same thing that I did before, finding another image, putting it on the screen, and say I'm ready to go because I like this layout. Look, I've only touched on a, uh, you know, not a lot of things that you can do, but look, we can add borders. It's not very hard to add a border. See this? Adding a border. What color do we want it? Let's make it an ugly color green. You would never do this. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. This is just for example. So we're done with the book. I wanna hit order. It's gonna tell me that warning, warning, I haven't finished all the pages, but you can flip through the book right here and see what it looks like. Now it's letting you know, letting me know that I don't have uh, all the pages filled, which you may wanna do that or delete pages at the end. Uh, let me go back and do something actually, return to edit. Cause you can move these by the way. You don't like where the page is, you wanna move it. So I don't like this one here, I wanna move it. You can just click and drag. Look, this is just an overview. It's really simple to do this. Say I'm done and I like this book. I'm gonna to go to order book now. So it's gonna, it's gonna do this. And then I have more options. Let's see. It knows that I'm doing luster paper. We've already selected that. Photo correction. Do we want Adorama pics to correct your images? I don't. So I don't allow them to do that. I hit no, I rather not. Now it depends on your screen. You know, if your screen is so far off, it may be a good option to let them do it. I personally don't let them do it because my screen is pretty darn close. It's calibrated now. Um, and, and that's why I just, I rather not. And I, honestly, it's not calibrated. It's, I've, I've gotten test prints made instead of calibrating. I haven't ever calibrated this screen because I don't really think I need to. And I've been happy with the results. Here it says uh, boutique box. I don't even know what the boutique box is. It's probably really nice. If, if you're getting the leather books and you're delivering it, spend the extra money to deliver it in a, bo in a box. That's gonna help your clients. E end pages, add end pages spread blank at the beginning and at the end, $2. Add a Ramapix logo, save $2 by adding add a Ramapix logo. At least they ask you that. I don't do that, but look, you have options for the inside cover. You can make them black, you can make them this blue, which is ugly. You could do that ugly purple. I like purple, but, but. I end up going with the gray because I like the way the gray feels. You can always do white, you can always do black, but it's gonna give you those pages in the front and the pages in the back. And then also available, they give you options that if you wanna add on a book, for an extra $21, you can add an eight by six. Now it's $21 for my layout, or you could add a six by four and a half. That's the same aspect ratio that I made. So let me turn over here for a second. 
this is a great opportunity to get extra books made. Um, yes, they're trying to sell you more, which is called an add-on sale, but you're going to get 35% off when you use PXFRO35MD. But I had extra books made. So I ordered one of these for Joe, and then I ordered a couple of extra of the add-ons. I wanted to see the extra, the extra books. And then I gave him those as little extra bonuses. If you're making good money from things, added value deliverables make you look so much better. So if you're getting a square book that's 10 by 10, order a five by five and an eight by eight and give them away to the family as gifts. It costs you a little bit of money, but it, it builds such brand equity. That's just something if you're having a job. If you don't need it, then don't add it on. But this is really simple. We go ahead at the end and we add it to the cart and that's it. Let me, let me actually do it. Let's add it to the cart. Wrap it up. Well, always wrap it up. Practice safe sex. It's very important. Um, I don't want to add a box. I'm going to skip that. Uh, da, 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 boom. And where would we type in the code? We would type in the code right here. PX, not PC, PX, PX, FRO, 35 MD. And hit go. And look at that. Coupon code applied. You have different options. For orders over, I think, $39, they give you free shipping. I'm not a big fan of the free shipping. I think it takes too long. Um, you don't need to pay for expedited service unless you really need it. Look, two days or one day. You don't need to spend the extra money, in my opinion, unless you really, really need to rush it. I don't like doing economy free printing. You're, if, unless you're going to pick it up at the store, you're probably not. I like to do, you know, I ask for it to go UPS or FedEx. You can request that as long as you'd pay for the premium or the express. I do that. Now, it depends if they ship it USPS. They ship it very well in a box. So you have to decide that. But that's the process, guys. It's really simple. Use the code. It's up there for a matter of, uh, I believe, three weeks. The date's on the screen. So I asked them for the code so that you guys could try it out. Um, I love the books. Take advantage of the code. Try it out. Even if you order the smallest book possible now, and then you get it, and you see that, oh, I really like this, then go ahead, you know, do a test, and then make a book, and then make a bunch of them. I love these for portfolios. Printing today is really important. A lot of people don't print, and they should be printing. So I highly recommend doing this because I love the quality of handing somebody this book and seeing their reactions. That's what it's all about, and that's where I'll leave it. So go ahead, check out the reveal if you haven't seen it, or the five-minute portrait from Pizzeria Bedia, and don't forget to use that code. And there you have it, Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.